Hello, uh, my name is David Shiner, and uh, this tutorial is going to be on Google Sites, how to create wikis uh, for teachers and students in education. Uh, first thing, this is a, we're at our Google main page here. So to get to the Google Sites page, uh, you need to go up to the top right corner and find the Google Apps that you see here. After selecting the apps, um, go through, go to more, go to even more, and it brings up all the different products Google offers. Uh, if you go down to under home and office, you'll notice that there is a section here called sites, create websites and secure group wikis. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. Now you'll have to log in with your Google account. I uh, I demonstrated how to set up an account uh, in my last tutorial. Um, so all you need to do is sign in now with your login information. And then once you log in, um, it brings you to the Google Sites page. Now at Google Sites, um, these are already wikis I've already created, but I'm going to show you how to create a brand new wiki. Now again, what a wiki is, it's a website that allows you to collaborate um, with multiple users to share content and to add content. Uh, it's a great resource for teachers to use, uh, specifically for uh, maybe departmental needs. Uh, maybe the uh, English department wanted to set up a wiki to use for the department for teachers to share lesson plans, short, share resources, um, collaborate on different, you know, different ideas and different lessons. Uh, so I'm going to go up here and hit create. And when it goes into Google, uh, when it goes into the sites page here, there are different choices here. You have a blank template, classroom site, uh, soccer team, spring floral, or browse for more gallery. I'm just going to go ahead and click on this. We're not going to use this one. I just want to show you exactly the different things, different templates that are offered. Now these are pre, pre-made um, templates that are already set up for you. Um, they already have. Uh, content in there that you need to take out and add it in but again you have some for under business and collaboration uh, and it kind of kind of goes through it so this is one of the easier ways if you already have a plan and you know it's going to have multiple pages uh, you could use one of these uh, for example school and education uh, e-portfolio template a classroom site uh, maybe you wanted to build one for your classroom now when you use these particular templates though they come again with multiple pages and multiple content so sometimes it gets a little confusing uh, if you choose one of these for your first time working with the wiki uh, but there are a lot of cool different templates here I'm gonna go ahead and cancel this though because again I like to show you by using a blank template now once you choose a blank template the first thing you need to do is you need to give it a site name I'm gonna go ahead and name this uh, for, for South Almonte High School here. Um, so, SEM High School staff. And then also, I'm going to choose a theme here. And when I choose a theme, these are just what the background coloring will be. I'm going to choose one for now, but then show you how to edit and change the formatting on this at, an, uh, at a later time in this tutorial. I'm going to go ahead and set micro blueprint. Uh, it's our school colors. And then down below, down here, you need to just to put in this uh, little code. And once you do that, you go up to the top and you hit Create. Now there was something wrong with, it didn't work. Uh, let's see, blank template. Let's try this one more time. All right, now it says creating sites. I must have just typed uh, one of the words wrong or one of the letters wrong there. But once we go in, there it is. Uh, the site gets created. Now notice the site is very basic. There is nothing really here. Um, so the first thing you'd want to do on this is kind of organize it. So across the top portion here, these are all the different uh, icons available. So the very first one here is edit page. Second one here is new page. Here is more. And I'm going to show you each one of these. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to go to edit page. And when I go to edit page, it brings up 
the icons and toolbars to use in order to start typing or to insert different things. So first thing I'm going to show you is the insert. So here's where we would insert an image, a link, uh, text box, HTML box, more gadgets. Now what gadgets are, they're basically other things you can add into your web page that are already predetermined and pre-made for you. So Google Calendar, uh, maybe you want a Twitter widget, a YouTube element, um, follow if you're creating stuff for Twitter, RSS feeds. Uh, so these are all the different things that you can actually add in there that are already been created by Google and it makes it quick and easy to add it in there. Slideshow maker is a good thing that you might want to add if you're adding Google Slides. But I'm going to go ahead and just hit exit on this. But what I'm going to do here first is I'm going to change the layout as well. The layout is what the screen's going to look like. So maybe I want two columns, or maybe I want to have two columns with the top, with the portion here and a bottom portion. So each one is slightly different. Um, now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go back to insert. Let's say I want to insert a picture. I'm going to go to insert image, and then it brings up the add image icon. I'm going to go to upload image, and I'm going to go to my picture files, and I'm going to find a picture related to. Um, this lesson, if you kind of go down, there's different pictures here that we can add. Now I'm just going to go ahead and add any picture. Now I'm just going to add the South Almonte logo for this particular demo, since that's a school logo. Click on it, it'll then upload it here. And then once you see it in the at, the at image area, you're going to go ahead and hit OK. And it goes ahead and brings that picture in. Now if the picture comes in very big, notice that this toolbar appears. If I click out, no toolbar. If I click on the, on the picture, there's a toolbar. Allows me to change the size of it. Maybe I want to change it, you know, original. That's small, but if I say I want to make it larger, hit the large. All right, and then all you have to do is go up to the top and hit save, and it would save the image on there. Now, one of the things that you can do as well on this is kind of set up other new pages. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to the top here. I'm going to go to new page. Now, new page is where you can kind of organize and see how you want to set it up. So maybe you want to set different departments up. So I'm going to set English department. Hit create. And it would create a new page for the English department. The English department then could go ahead and customize this area, add different files, different resources, maybe a slideshow. I'm going to go ahead and add some more. So I'm going to hit save here. Just going to go ahead and show you, add another new page. So I'm going to put in CTE, Career Technical Education. Hit create. It creates that page. So I'm going to go ahead and create a few more pages here just for the demo. New page, and let's say Math Department. And I'm going to hit create. As you see, the pages are coming up here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to CTE and I'm going to go to edit page. And let's say I wanted to add a CTE PowerPoint slideshow to this. So what I could do is there's a couple different ways of doing that. Uh, I could go up to the top and go to insert and again go back to that gadget and go to Google Slides and that would allow me to add a slideshow to it at another time. So let's see slide maker using Google Slides. I'm going to go ahead and click on that and hit select. And it's going to ask me if I want to add a URL link, maybe make a back page, uh, page background color. I'm just going to go ahead and hit OK right now. And it brings it in here. Now there's, we need to add actual slides, so this just adds the wicket to it. So if I click on this, so I'm just going to go ahead and hit save and see what happens here. Slideshow maker using Google Slides. Um, so under Google Slides, that is actually in the under the Google Drive section. If I go to Insert Drive Presentation, this also allows me to create slides. So what I'm going to do in here is I'm going to bring this up, and I have some presentations that are already in here. Let's say I wanted to add a uh, let's see here. These are some from other students that created. I'm just going to go ahead and click on this just so you can see. Hit select. Here's the title. I'm going to go ahead and hit start slideshow as soon as the player loads. Restart slideshow after the last slide. Change the size to medium and hit save. And when this happens, I'm going to go ahead and save up here. 
and you'll notice that all of a sudden now the slideshow appears and it automatically plays throughout the slideshow. So this is if you had some uh, a presentation you made for your class um, and it went well. You could add it to the wiki for other teachers to look at, maybe to share, to let them use it. Uh, it's a great way of sharing um, you know, lessons, sharing resources, and just sharing ideas. Um, so now that would be a project that's in there. Now you can add other things in here as well. So if I wanted to add something else in here, for example, go back to edit page. I'm going to go back to layout, give it three. I should change it to two. I don't like that. So now I have one column here. I have another column over here. So in here I could technically type out information if I needed to type information out. Or maybe I wanted to add a insert a another document from my drive. Maybe this time it's part of the uh, let's see what I have in here. I only have a couple files. Let's say it's for a scavenger hunt I've created. Go ahead and select that. Go ahead and hit save. And now I've created I have a presentation in here. I also have a scavenger hunt uh, Word document that was saved in the Google Drive. So again, another way to share resources. If I go back to my home page here, I'm back to my staff home page. And if I go to English department, again, someone in the English department could add it. So how would I do that? Well, if I went up to share, and I typed in here, link to share, I'd also invite people. So in here, you would put in a email address. So if you knew someone's email address here at school, you could go ahead and insert that in there. Maybe it's uh, a personal email. Maybe you wanted to add a someone from the school site here, someone from the English department. You would then go ahead and just put in their, their school email address or their personal email address, whatever they prefer to use. Hit send, and they would get sent a message saying that, uh, you know, we have a document that you'd like to share, and you would have access to that wiki. So you, if you went into your Google account, you would actually be able to see the wiki labeled in there. One last thing I'm going to show real quick, if we want to customize the appearance of this, uh, we go up to more, and if I go up to more here, it brings up different options as well. Let's say I wanted to delete a page. Maybe the page I created wasn't, uh, wasn't up to my satisfaction. So I'm going to actually do that real quick. I'm going to go up to the math department here. I'm going to go up to more. I'm going to go to delete page. And it says delete math page. I said yes, delete. And now that page is no longer with us. So I'm going to go back to CT, back to the English department. And I'm going to go back to more. Actually, I'm going to go my, back to my home page. But I'm going to go back to more. And I'm going to show you how to add some colors and, and other things to this. So I'm going to go to manage site down here. And when I go to manage site, there's an area down below here called themes, colors, and fonts. And I'm going to click on that. This allows me to customize my screen. So let's say I wanted to add a picture to my to my wiki here. Entire page, background, here's color. So let's say I want to change the color first just to kind of show you what this would look like. I click on it and notice now I have color that was added in. But instead, maybe I want to add a picture there instead. So I'm going to go to image, click on here, and again it's going to ask me to what image do I want to put in there. So let's say I'm just going to use that same logo hit open and once I do that now it went into my background so I'm going to go ahead and save it and I'm going to go back to staff and now I have the our South Almani logo surrounding the page um, now again that is optional it's just a way of customizing your work or your page but that is all under again under more manage sites and then going down to themes, colors, and fonts. And you notice there's a lot of other things here that you can customize. The site header, that would be this, this top portion here. Just show you again what that would be. So, so you can see the site header. There's the site header. I'm going to make it one of our more gold, our school color here. Uh, let's try that one. And again, if you like how that looks, I'm going to go ahead and hit save. I'm going to go back to my entire page. I really don't like that color scheme. I'm going to go ahead and go theme here and I'm going to change that to a darker blue and I'm going to go ahead and hit save there and if I go back to my thing now it kind of gives me uh, more design on my web page 
again, this is a great tool for collaborating uh, with different projects, uh, with t different teachers, different lessons. And again, um, it's a great way to, again, just to use in your classroom. Uh, one of the ways I use this is actually for student projects. I have students create their own personal uh, wiki, what we use as an e-portfolio. So they'd actually, all the assignments and projects that we do in the class, we post to the class wiki. So it's kind of the old standard, you know, folder portfolio, but instead we're doing it all online in an open format. Um, so I hope you learned a little bit about uh, how to create a wiki in Google Sites. There's a lot of other things that could be, uh, that you can do with these wikis. Uh, the best thing to do is to get started and just experiment with it and play with the, the features. They, they make it so simple that it really, um, it's really easy to use and once you know the basics of what I've shown you here today um, it's very easy to add content add pages and again it continually add, you can add files as well so for example let's say I wanted to add files that you saved as well I add a file I go down to my you know to my folders where I have things saved I actually go to documents uh, let's see maybe I want to go to student work and let's say I wanted to add one of my you know just add let's add this one this brochure right here and when I add the file now I have the file saved down here so this brochure file is also saved so it's another place to save your work as well so let's say I wanted to open this I go over here to download if I click on download it downloads the file and now I have access to it. So this was a uh, this is one of the projects our students do in my class, and there is their project. Now let's say they wanted to add a project to their page, for example. So I'm going to go ahead and close this out. Open it up in a new tab. So I can just close that. But again, its file is saved down here. So you could add multiple files. Again, another great place to share lesson plans, save ideas, um, save content that you might want to share with other teachers in your department. Uh, so I'm going to add another add file. This time I'm going to add uh, something different. Maybe I want to add something under my teacher resources. Um, let's see, Perkins Nines form. Maybe I want to add a parent letter. Uh, let's just add the parent letter. Go ahead and put that in. And there's the parent letter. So same thing. If I needed to open that parent letter at another time, I just go to download. It downloads the file and it opens up that file in the program that you created it in. So I created this file in Microsoft Word and there it opens up the parent letter that we used, that I used at the beginning of the school year for all my parents. So another way if you created a group, a, a class wiki, you could keep all your important files on the wiki and allow people to access it. So if they needed a copy of the parent letter, they go in there and they click on the parent letter. They go ahead and close that out. But again, uh, this is just, a, I wanted to keep this tutorial as short as possible. Uh, again, once you're done with this, it automatically saves it. So I'm just going to go ahead and go back to home. And I'm just going to go ahead and log out. So I'm going to go over here, go back to my Dave Shiner, and I'm going to go to sign out. I hope you learned something about wikis here today and how you could use, how it could benefit you in the classroom. Uh, thanks for um, watching this video. And if you have any questions, please contact me from my.